Hey folks, this is a quick example of how to get started with Knit Unified APIs and Syncs. At Knit, we have two ways of interacting with any SaaS application. First is through our Unified APIs, which allow you to read and write data in a particular application. The second way is through Syncs, our event-driven architecture that helps you keep track of your data changes. We dispatch webhooks to your URL whenever a new record is added or a record has been modified or deleted. In this example, we'll be focusing on the CRM category. We'll run a sync to see how the webhooks work and also fire some APIs to understand how data flows back to the CRM application. So, let's get started. First, I need to create a webhook URL. I'm using webhooked site here, and I've already copied my URL from it. Next, I head to the Knit dashboard, select the CRM category, and I'm prompted to enter the webhook URL. I've already registered my webhook URL with KnitET, so all of my webhooks will be dispatched to this URL. Now, let's integrate with an account to see how the integration looks. To integrate with my HubSpot account, I'll create a magic link first, assign an organization name like HubSpot Test, and provide my origin user email. I then select the CRM category. Once inside the CRM category, I choose the app I want to get started with. HubSpot in this case, click on it, and select the account I want to integrate. Once the integration is successful, I'll see a confirmation that the authorization is successful. This integration is now ready for use. I'll close this tab and return to the Knit dashboard where I'll find that an integration ID has been created. I'll copy this integration ID to run and start a sync. Using the Start a Sync API, I'll initiate a contact sync to gather information on contacts from HubSpot. Here, I'll enter my API, my integration ID, and my API key, which I can find on the API keys and webhooks page. I'll copy and paste my API key here. Next, I'll choose the data type of the sync I want to start. Let's begin with the CRM account sync. Receiving a 200 response indicates that the sync has started successfully. Returning to webhook site, I can see that some webhook events have already arrived at my URL. Examining a particular event, I notice it includes details like the account's name, owner, creation time, address, and more. I can browse through the events to explore various accounts or companies in my CRM. The event type for this event is Record New. However, if you modify or change a record, you'll receive other event types such as Record Modified and Record dot deleted on your webhook URL. Perfect! Now I've done this. Let's explore how the APIs work. By visiting NIT's developer documentation, I can try out any APIs including the CRM APIs. For instance, I'll check out the account APIs and attempt to create an account. Firstly, I'll list the users in my system to see who exists in my HubSpot account. I find two users, so I'll copy their ID and email ID for future use. Next, I'll proceed with the account API. Let's say I want to create an account. I'll provide a name, description, and an owner ID. Once I fire the API, I successfully receive a response, along with the account ID, confirming the account has been created in my HubSpot account. Now I'll return to my HubSpot and refresh the page. Here, I can confirm that the account I just created via the API is now visible. So, this is how you can get started with our unified APIs syncs, and data models. Thank you for watching. This was a quick example of how to get started with NIT's unified APIs and syncs. You can explore our developer documentation to learn more about all the models and APIs we offer. Feel free to reach out if you encounter any issues. We can't wait for you to get started with this.